Food insecurity is a growing problem in the state line, especially with high inflation. Nancy Tadora from Voices of Inspiration joins us now to talk about efforts to help people put food on the table. Can we first start with, with the organization, Voices of Inspiration? When did this come about? It actually came about uh, probably back in 2017 with one single person that was delivering food to her neighborhood. But she grew into, uh, there was more and more needs, so she started delivering out of a truck. And then that grew in 2019, officially became an organization with bylaws and everything. And we worked out of the Lutheran Church on North Rockton Avenue. And now we have a new place since July of 2021 in the old Rockton Center Library. If anybody's familiar with the old Snuck store in mm -hmm. the Rockton Center, that library um, closed. And because, of course, the library is being rebuilt uh, <clears throat> excuse me, downtown, so <clears throat> they couldn't have uh, all these small ones. They, they had to reestablish you know budget and everything so we had the opportunity to move in and a lot of help getting there so we were tremendously happy being in a bigger space and we changed the format we didn't pack pre-pack any boxes or put them in trunks like we used to do now we had the opportunity to have shelving and do a grocery store type shopping and that's been amazing because now people have more autonomy they can make choices on the food so i think that helps out too with their whole feeling of coming to a pantry and not being embarrassed as much and you know I think that's another stigma about pantries people don't want to come as much as they should sure now earlier today you held a pop-up event we did we we're part of Northern LA food bank mm -hmm. and when you have that opportunity they offer things like the pop-ups today it was over 600 boxes of food there, there's the pictures yeah mm -hmm. and I was actually in candy cafe restaurant serving the volunteers food during the day so I wasn't out there actually picking up boxes, but I was speedy I'm sure you've volunteers. done that too. <laughs> I've done that too. Too much probably. So uh, it was a very interesting day. And we also work at the Pantry Express this evening, and that's going on about right now. And that's at Walmart on Northridge. And that Pantry Express, you can pre-order groceries online through solvehunger.org, which is the Northern Illinois Food Bank's website. And by ordering online, you have a choice of some products that you can pick from, and then you pick them up at the... Um, grocery stores, whatever, whoever's cooperating. It happens to be Walmart here. Very and of course, convenient. Goodwill's got that too. Mm -hmm. So they both have, and I think there's Thursday night too. Well, yeah. It seems like there was quite a turnout for that event we today. Yeah. What, what it's, can you talk about the need in the community? Uh, actually, it probably in the area right around Rockton Center, that part of Northwest Rockford, the, prop the property rate is be, I'd average about 22, 25 which is a lot higher than Illinois in general. Illinois is like 11.3%. So we're a lot higher poverty rate in that area. We have a lot of senior um, residents and a lot of HUD housing. Uh, we had a lot of people without any kind of transportation. So being in that area, they can walk a lot of times and they can come in their little scooters, electric, electric scooters and stuff. So I think the need shows up in those, that type of person in that neighborhood. It's just a huge need in that neighborhood, and that's why we like being there. And I think the ability to get into the building, we have a ramp, um, we have uh, electric doors, so the accessibility is good, but the need is huge. In, in Illinois, um, I mean, one in four people are facing food insecurity or hunger today, and that isn't, that's the same in Illinois and all over Illinois. And I think that Winnebago County, we forget that Rockford area particularly has such a, a, a varied uh, ethnic mix, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, poverty is highest in the black population, and then second to that, Hispanic. So again, a lot of that mix in the Northwest area. Um, and they are coming right and left to our pantry. We have a thousand or more in, what do you call, unique, they call it on our, on our um, website or not website, but they're linked to feed um, data. So that means that 1,000 people that are not repetitive come a month. Now, when you count how many times they can come, they can come every week. So we get over 2,000 that come in a month. So the need is definitely great in yeah, the community. Right. If someone, right. quickly, if someone would like to help out, what can they do? Oh, call us. Um, okay. Our phone number is 815-977-4711. That's the pantry number. They can surely volunteer during the week. We're open Tuesdays and Thursdays to the public, 12.30 to 4.30. Uh, we do have Wednesday pickup. Um, Walmart is our direct connect partner along with low cost groceries in our mall. And they, do, they help us with uh, overflow products. Mm -hmm. 
and we pick them up every Wednesday. So we do need people to help get that and take it off the truck and stock. A lot so, of opportunities to volunteer. Lots of All opportunities. Right. Nancy, thanks so much for joining us I today really and letting us know it. about the need in the community. Really appreciate it, Mimi. It's our pleasure.